All right, a really quick video just because I've got uh, a new thing to play with which is a continuous spray mist bottle. So I'm stamping some peacock eye designs which in case you don't know I use a rotary grinding bit and I stamp uh, the, the pattern into the clay and it needs the clay to be a certain level of dryness so you want it dry enough that the pattern is clearly visible on the outside and doesn't the clay doesn't stick to the bit and pull out as you try and remove it it'll stick um, you'll know what I mean when you experience it um, but the other side of that is you need it to not crack on the inside and you probably can't see in the video because it's only just doing it this is on the edge of cracking as it as I stand the pattern so you want to avoid that um, and I've always used just cheap misting bottles but I bought one of these um, just to see how good they are. So just off Amazon, I think this was £8, something like that. The way it seems to work is you're pressurising the bottle. So rather than spraying just as, as you squirt, what you're doing is as you pull, it will spray for a time period afterwards. So it's quite easy to keep a continuous spray going, which is good for this because what you want to do is apply an even coating of water to the inside, not the outside, and then you're making the inside layer more capable of bending when you stamp the pattern without affecting the outside. So better to do it this way than have the whole piece at the wrong dryness. You, if you let the inside dry out, you can then spray the inside so it's now wet, and then sit it right side up for 30 or so seconds for that to soak in. If you put too much on, the rim will become soft and you'll you'll lose, assuming you burnish them like I do, so you'll lose some of the smoothness if you then turn it over immediately. So it might be worth, I've got a few more in this plastic box. Um, I'm gonna check them all. I imagine they'll all be equally too dry and then I'll spray all of them and let them sit for a minute or two. The clay will take the water in, it'll look dry, but you've made it that little bit more capable of bending without cracking. Um, I'll link to this, I, I really don't think this one's anything special, so if you can find a continuous spray mister, um, then great, but I wasn't sure if there'd be any good. It's a hair product uh, and I don't have any hair, so it's not something I'd experienced before, but if you've got one of them lying around the house, this is as good as any. And what I've used up until now is the cheap IKEA one. So the continuous spray part is a nice bonus, but um, it doesn't matter quite so much for small pieces like this, but if you had a bigger piece, you could just spin it on a banding wheel and you'd get a completely even, almost like you were using a spray gun. Um, so yeah, I'll link if you want to see this particular one, but uh, any of them will do. And the main thing is, that's what you need if you, you're having problems with things cracking as you stamp. Get hold of one of those and try different levels of dryness inside and out because it makes a big difference.